The Ohio EPA says a recycling dump here in the Miami Valley is a breeding ground for mosquitoes, and some of those have tested positive for the West Nile virus. EPA officials say what's more concerning is it's blocks away from Kaiser Elementary School. Two News reporter Ethan Fitzgerald is asking questions about what's being done to clean it up. Mark and Brooke, Good Deeds Recycling took over this property in early June. Now it's a little dark, but if we can pan up here, you can, see, can clearly see that there are bins full of soft drinks and beer stacked over this fence. It's that liquid and the stickiness and the sugar that the EPA says is attracting so many mosquitoes. So they're stepping in. If you drive by, you can't miss it. The EPA says there's 5,000 tons of beverages stacked up over 4.5 acres of land on Deeds Avenue in Old North Dayton. But for those who live by, like Alan Prophet, I didn't even know it was back there. <laughs> there's one thing he has noticed. When it was warm, I noticed a lot of mosquitoes, just a lot of different bugs. And honestly, honestly, I just assumed it was, it was a dead animal somewhere over in the woods back there. Um. The EPA says they became aware of the issues at the dump after finding out Good Deeds was not following environmental standards. Not long after, the county got involved, testing mosquitoes that came back positive for West Nile. Now, West Nile carries mild symptoms like headaches and small rashes. It is still considered a public health risk. I had no idea about that. That does bother me. Rusty Westendorf has done business in the area for 20 years. He knew about the dump, but it didn't bother him. Let's get it cleaned up because we also sit on a large aquifer here, and so whatever's going into the ground goes into our eventual drinking water as well. The EPA says much of the garbage on the property came from the former owner, Quality Farms. County Public Health cited the current owner's Good Deeds Recycling for having standing water back in September. The city then treated the water. But because more cleanup needs to be done, the EPA asked the Ohio Controlling Board to approve a half million dollars to go towards removing waste from the property. Good, good Deeds Recycling said it would be not very good for them to comment about the cleanup right now. The Controlling Board of Ohio will vote on December 4th on whether or not to approve the EPA's request for funding to help them clean this property. Now, if approved, the EPA hopes to start cleaning this area up by early, or excuse me, mid-December with hopes of getting it completely done early in the year. Ethan Fitzgerald, 2 News, working for you.